Bergman's woodshed. It's sad to be seen. Something about that power saw and the sand runs through my veins. Oh yeah. Here, I think this will be the slug. Boom. Look at that, friends. 40 inches to the dogs. So this will be our finished cut right there. <laughs> uh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna go set up down here, friends. I got old long bar in my hands here. I'll probably bring fuel down and we'll just get set up. The tip of my bar is dragging on the ground here almost. This is a heavy, heavy bar too. It's a cannon, friends. So we're just gonna set up and we're gonna do our best we can here with this setup here. So what he's got, he's got these, it's, you can see by the grain. And the, I'm going to get them all started. Okay. So here we are. You get set up right there. You're right. Oh. <laughs> Good they're heavy, boy. They are, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they are. I had three that weren't and three that weren't. Really? Oh, this way, yeah. Good. And that's the size that's going to be cut. This is okay. Because I got the angle. I got an angle here for my. That's my okay, top good. Here. Let's. This may sound silly to you, but we're going to cut downhill. So, yep. Yeah. yeah. It's here. It's going to Friends, be think about this in your mind. I've got to bore this long, thick power saw bar. I've got like inches to spare, like literally inches, about an inch and a half. I. You see what I'm saying? I, it's a tall order. It's a tall freaking order. Fucking had a tape hanging on his belt. All right. Friends, we got an interesting job. Uh, I always get called on these weird ones. I got to swap out to a, a 404 uh, project here. So I use my, this is a 395. I'm just going to use the 395. It's a, I just got to get this square here and see what's going on. Well, yeah, see, there we go. Right, right to the hill. Okay, so. That should really stop the chattering. And I, I watch that piston come up. Here it comes. Okay, so, so there we go. So. If I put that in here right now, if I drop this in here, my piston stop in there right now, I could use rope or I could use a piston stop. It, it really doesn't matter to me. So, so my piston is on the way up when I go to untighten my, right? You guys know what I'm saying? So what'll happen, there we go. Okay, so now, Bang, here, uh, I'm up against it. So there, there, there we go. Now I can use a ratchet or hopefully I can get this by hand. Not by this hand. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get the right tool. Okay, three quarter. It's like that. There it is. Clutch off. Okay. Three eighths, seven tooth. There's a four oh four right there. Ah, this is where a guy's got to get smart. He's got to pull this out. 
wrap this around something so it don't go nowhere. Bit right there. Hold my rope out like this. Put the piston stop back in. Okay, that's there. I'm just gonna hold this here and put this back on. Till I get, there we go. I'm on the piston stop now. And then once I do that, Show you what I'll do. Take this out and we're set up for 404. All right. Okay, she's set up. Just gonna blow that air cleaner off. Okay, 42 inch bar, 404 okay. setup. I wanna to talk to you about a couple things. This is a long bar, 42 inches. It's actually longer than that, but we need 40. Okay, if you're cutting with a saw that you need a precision cut with, you see what's going on there? Can you guys see that? There, take the light away. There it is, that's the guy right there. I wonder if that would stay. Okay, anyway, we see it, it's ragged. The next one on the other side, the opposing side, is not ragged, it's sharp, okay? The other side is sharp. Now look at this, come up here. Let's take a look at this one. Oh dear, a corner knocked right off it, okay? And inspect this chain and you have like, what I'm saying is you're gonna cut on an angle. That's what I'm telling you. I need to file this. 42 inch bar. Forty-two inch bar, friends. Maybe not. Yep. Friends, what a job this was. Um, I didn't charge him. I've done work for this fella for for years at his home, at his jobs. He's he's a good guy. I but I didn't charge. I and, and plus I this was a tall order for me, friends. Do you know Do you know what we were doing here? Okay, you see me boring in. It's an eight by eight. Okay, it's an eight by eight. Friends, those, he's building a bus stop. Excuse me. He asked me to bo uh, bore a 40 inch, 40 inch, friends, square opening right up, like in, like I'm doing, boring in, up, ripping, 40 inches. I've got a, I got a cannon bar, which is 48 inches long. It's a four foot one. I think it ended up, anyways, right at the dogs, it ended up just about 40 inches. Regardless, huge, tall order for me to do that. And it, I was intimidated because it's, you know, it's, it's wood and... Unfortunately, I, I would like to sit here and tell you that I, that I did perfect, but I didn't. 
I came outside a couple times, just like I just did. I, I, I came outside the wood. Think about that for a minute though. That bar, friends, is so, so the second bar we use, so I started it with the 28 inch bar and then I go in with the bigger bar. I just thought that'd be a good idea. Well, I came outside a couple times. I broke through the wood. I wasn't happy about it, but this is probably some of our finest cutting on this one. So let's, let's I'm not gonna show you all three cuts. It's, no, take too long. Back at it. You did the two now and then you do the middle. You may as well. Yeah, I think you need at least one or three out What's left? Go. Yeah, these three. Three? Yeah. That's it. You're halfway through. Or three quarters if you count the little stuff. Is it because I'm listening?
lucky. The other side. Yeah. Milling up all the other pieces. So friends, it, it is good, but he that was a tall order, Jeff, I must admit. <laughs> that was a tall order. Boring 40 inches on an eight by eight and staying in the staying in the confines. <sighs> A bit stressful. A bit stressful. Uh, we, we we did we did for what it was, friends. For what that was, <laughs> I mean, we did good. We did good. I, I'm happy with. I, I, there was no practice. There was no nothing. There was just hey, that boom. He came up the driveway with the bang, and we did it. So it's just. I get called for some strange things. Like remember the totem pole and the big long bar. And the, I get called for some strange things from time to time. And uh, I, I'm i honored that people call me to do these crazy things with the power saws and stuff. So uh, yeah, it, it is what it is. It, it's done. He's going to make it work. It was a couple little tweaks here and there. He says he can make it work. He'll see how it looks. And we'll go from there. Friends, I want to thank you for coming here and hanging around. I want you to hit the old notification bell because that way you'll know that all, you know, because I'm throwing lots of videos up, Fred's like daily. So you don't want to miss what's going on, especially coming up, especially coming up. It's going to be a lot of fun coming up lately. Um, BuckandBillyRay.com for your goodies and your t-shirts and your hats and toques and stickers and all the goodie things that us YouTubers have. That was BuckandBillyRay.com. And in there, friends, you, you, there's a bunch of videos that you probably haven't seen unless you've been in there already. It's actually another experience altogether in the, in the website. Pop in, have a look around. Catch you on the next video, friends. Be kind to one another. Work hard, be honest. We'll see you on the next one.